So here's a bit of a mad idea. Charge up the alum cell with an Electrifly Park Flyer charger. It's meant for NICADs and NIMH. I'll put it on the 200 milliamp setting. There are some bubbles inside, I don't know if you can see. And uh, we'll see what happens. It started at 0 0.7 volts and 4 milliamps. So I should think I'll run it for 10 minutes, that's all, and then see what happens. Okay, about five minutes later it's detected there that the cell is apparently charged and I believe the one flash is this one cell which is uh, well, at least it's detected that correctly I'll see now what's on it Alright, it was on 0 0.7 before, it's now on 1.051 I'll uh, zoom it round for the milliamps, oh yes <laughs> but it's coming down pretty quickly there 27.6 oh we're going back up 27.9 28 so 28 milliamps now and about a volt that's not bad so what practical use can we put this cell to well here's a circuit about the simplest thing you can make really although the winding is very tedious indeed there's this is a standard one inch toroid uh, from an old PC power supply. It's yellow with white on one side. There's 1500 winds of 30 AWG and there's 50 as the primary. So there's a circuit. And the thing is though, that there, I've had to put a bit of tape over to cover the light sensor, but it's a standard LED mains night light. If I connect up to wait till the thing charges a little. Well there we go. So the light's on. I'll turn off the light now and show you the brightness. There we are. Nice little light little night light there. So that's the kind of practical thing you can do. And there we are, there's the circuit again. And it only uses two milliamps. I've run this setup uh, from solar power and it only uses two milliamps but it does take 1500 wines. Okay, thanks for watching.